Good morning everyone, today is Friday and it's officially September the 1st. What the hell? Like, oh, I'm really scared to be starting uni again. Like, I'm really not ready. Uh, but anyways, today is actually my introduction day and I'm going to be taking you along with me today. I think we're going to a beach, although <laughs> the sky looks a little bit grey, so we'll see about that. So I first headed off to campus to go to the introduction day and we grabbed loads of free refreshments because not being funny we paid 65 euros for this thing. So I grabbed loads of street ruffles, queen, and then it was time for the presentation and this will literally be me in a few days if I'm not careful. Then we headed off to spa to get some lunch and I got a whole loaf of bread because I'm not paying 3 euros for a tiny bit of focaccia. So I'm currently in a random beach right now for the team building activities and we're playing volleyball. Am I much of an asset? Probably not. But it's really fun so far and there's loads of activities going on so I'll take you along with me. So I went on bench because I'm actually useless at volleyball but it was fun watching them and then we went into these little football thingies. I don't know what it was but I was literally out of breath within one minute. And then we had some dinner, I got some salad <laughs> and then I ruined it by getting loads of chips. And I got some meat as well because meat is expensive here. So I just got back from the intro day and honestly it was so much fun. And I met so many people there but did not meet a single person from the UK. I don't know where you're all hiding. But seriously guys, I didn't meet a single person from the UK. Ah, <sighs> So it's literally just me. And like I was like, oh my gosh, I love your accent. I was like, I know, it's pretty funky. But still, why is there no one that sounds like me? This is so strange. But that was my day and tomorrow I'm going to Utrecht. But I need to get up really early for that, so I'm not looking forward to that part. But, oh, Utrecht, here we come. Good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday and we're starting off the weekend strong. And today I'm going to Utrecht. I feel like I've said that wrong. Like, I'm really sorry, Dutch people, if I offend you, but I honestly cannot pronounce words. But hey, I've got a cute accent when I try and say the words. <laughs> But I'm going there today, I'm not going to say it again so no one bullies me. Um, I'm going there today to get my residence permit and then later on we're going to be doing a bit of a day trip there because honestly it's so pretty and I really can't wait to go there. It is so foggy right now, I was meant to cycle my bike but I don't think I can trust myself. I guess my breakfast event was wondering what I was having. I got so many avocados, I'm still trying to eat all of them. Um, but yeah, it's not looking the best of weather but... I'm sure it'll be fine. It was way too foggy to cycle today, so I got the tram and I saw these two ducks crossing the road. I'm telling you, only in Rotterdam you'll see this ever. And then I almost missed a train and it was so crowded at the platform, like what the hell? So we've now finally arrived and literally it was so busy on that train. I was on the floor and this lady would not move and it just wasn't fun. But we're gonna carry on and try and look for a coffee shop because we got here really early compared to our friends and my appointment's not until 3 30 so we've got some time to burn whilst we're here we explored the city center for a bit and honestly it's really pretty it kind of reminds me of york and durham back at home then later on we went to this coffee shop as we were getting hungry and i ordered this really nice carrot cake and sarah ordered this red velvet cake with a hot chocolate and here's me eating it and it was really good would recommend and then it was time for me to sort out my bloody residence permit it actually infuriates me editing this because of stupid stupid brexit is all i'm gonna say sorry brexiters but no so I finally got my residence permit after two hours in a line. That was so long, but I'm so glad I've got it now. I was literally shattered after that clip, so I decided to go home because it was a long day and yesterday just knocked me out. I got back from New Tracks. The line killed me. I just, just never again. If you're going to pick up your residence permit, some advice for me, don't go at your designated time slot. Go early, go at 9am whenever it opens because that line was way too long and it was just unnecessary. But you know what, it's fine now, that's in the past. We didn't really have a day trip. Kind of did a little bit of shopping. It didn't last very long because again, the line killed us. But here's what I made for dinner. Got this aubergine and tofu. A little thing going on, I'm so hungry. But I think tomorrow I need to do some uni work because I've been set some. That's so rude. So I'm gonna be doing that tomorrow because today no, I'm not doing any more work. <laughs> I haven't done any work, to be honest. Good morning, today is Sunday, and today I'm going to be having more of a chill day because I think over the last few days I've been doing a lot. But anyways, I've been set some pre-lecture work, so 
Hmm, gotta go do the reading later on. So I'll probably go to the pilot building because it's so pretty. And then I'll probably go and cook something really funky today and maybe go to the gym, maybe. We'll see, but I'll take you along with me today. I went to the pilot building to get some more work done. I was set two chapters and lectures haven't even started. This is so rude. But anyways, I made some lunch and I accidentally overcooked my gnocchi, so it was mushy. And whilst going to the gym, I saw this really random bird and here's me on the treadmill. I was literally running for my life and I look like a tomato in this clip, ill. So I got back from the gym about an hour ago and oh my gosh, that was literally the fastest I'd ever ran on the treadmill for a very long time. So, <laughs> but anyways, later on I'll be cycling, probably to the city centre, maybe to a lake, we'll see if I have time. Because I haven't rode my bike for a very long time and also I want to meet up with some of my friends before term starts. But I have actually just made my dinner probably gonna add some tofu to this um, and just letting it marinate but yeah I'll take you with me I made it to the lake and I saw so many of these swans and these birds again I don't know what species they are and then I headed off to the city centre and saw a flash mob and then I went shopping with Sarah to Albert Hein and she's never seen Haribo Tang Bastics before I was like what the hell we always eat these in the UK and then we grabbed some gelato I got this uh, Kinder Bueno one which is delicious 10 out of 10 by the way and then my friends bought a Starbucks too good to go bag and Sebastian almost made Made everyone late and this is what sarah got in her too good to go bag it was five euros and i think she got a really good mix of stuff also the cake at the start honestly looks so good and then it was sebastian's turn i honestly love how he says croissant croissant but yeah he got this bag for five euros this is actually a bargain and he got so much stuff it was literally like sebastian was mary poppins and then when i returned back to my accommodation it was officially sunset time and it was so pretty like look how cool the campus is but I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and don't forget to subscribe for more if you want to see more content from me. See you guys next time. So I managed to trap a fly under a cup. Uh, this is not an empty cup by the way, this has actually got a fly in it. I'm about to release it. Get out, get out, get out, bye!